Hello Leia users. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to edit the various components of your contact section. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see our contact section. It has a title, it has a phone number here, and some other text that we can edit. And if you're unsure about how to, how to actually edit any of these little bits um, using this edit element toolbox and all the buttons in here, please check out our introductory video. It explains what all these buttons do and how you can use them. What we're gonna do in this video is go over things specific to the contact section. So as you can see, we have a little form here. Uh, on mobile, all of these items will be stacked on top of one another just for simplicity's sake. If we wanted to see how this looked on a desktop, which is a little bit more important, we can click on this button right here and then press desktop view. All right, so now you can see that our contact form actually has a little space right there where we don't have uh, an input box. And we can change the actual elements in this form by tapping on this third button from the left here uh, that looks like a little pencil with a piece of paper. If we tap on that, we have this form items box. And so we can use this to check off the individual items that we want the user to input information into before they submit the form. So let's say on top of their name, email, subject, and a message, we wanted them to put their phone number and their company name. If we check those two and then hit this X, you'll see that we added company and uh, phone to our list of features. Now, if we wanted exactly these items and nothing else, what we could do is hit this redesign button to pull up a different version of our contact form and then keep going until we found one that included um, all of these in a straight line up and down. Um, as you can see, we haven't quite gotten there yet, uh, right here. Okay, so we have all of these items stacked on top of one another. It looks pretty good. Um, we have obviously other elements now that we can continue to edit. And we also have this little map down on the bottom that we can use to um, you know, put our address and actually give people directions to our site. And the way you can edit that is if you tap on this settings icon right here, you'll have edit location and delete map as options. If you wanna actually delete this map and not have it, that's perfectly fine. You just tap this button and it will do it for you. But you can also edit the location by tapping edit location and then plugging your address in. So let's say we lived at instead, this is our office. All right, and then we press update source. The location gets updated and if we click, on, click this out, you'll see that our address in here has been updated to 2403 East 14th Street. And you can obviously change this to your address as well. Um, another thing that we can do is change the location or even set the location initially of where this information, when a user clicks submit, gets sent to. So by default, it's going to be the email address that we have on file for your Leia account. If you have not yet created a Leia account to store your website, please do so. It is 100% free. If you have a Google or a Facebook account, you can just one tap sign in with one of those. Uh, pretty much everybody in this day and age should have one of those or you can just choose an email address and password and sign up that way But it's free and it gives you a way to store your website securely and then access it whenever you want to um, So once you do sign up you're gonna have an email address on file and whenever a user submits this form with that submit button We're gonna send all this information to your email if you want to change that you can click this little email icon here and then plug in your actual email address and then click change. So it's just an easy way to update what that value is. Um, as always, we have this you know, edit background button that we can use to adjust the color and the image of our background. Uh, we're not gonna get into that right now. We've gotten into it in pretty much every other section. If you have any questions about how that stuff works, again, feel free to consult one of our introductory tutorials. Um, but that's pretty much it that we wanted to show you for this particular video. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at heylea.com slash contact, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.